girl Z and I'm back with another video for you guys and today I'm doing a makeup look for you guys gag on this makeup it is so freaking cute I've been loving color looks a lot lately and color and glitter that's that period I love the way how this turned out it looks so flawless and uh, I, I love it so much I love it I love it so much I'll give you like rainbow vibe I'll give you rainbow vibes today and I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step of how I get this look because everybody been like this is a colorful look lately and you know I use lashes from Ardell and I use palettes from Juvia's Place like listen this is a look oh my goodness I love this look so much I can't even like stop like looking at it I love this look so much dang so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment down below subscribe and like I make videos every Sunday and y'all know this tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join this Z gang because I'm here for the long run period so yeah Stay tuned and we're gonna get right into this video. Alright guys, so I already don't have one eye done and this is the look that we're going for today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this good up look. So we're gonna get right into this video. I already done prime my eye with the P. Louise um, Rumor Zero um, eyeshadow base, but I'm gonna go back in again. I want it to be as sticky as possible because we want these eyeshadows to pop and be vibrant and pigmented and all that jazz so we just gonna look a little crazy but it will be all worth it in the end I'll be using this base throughout this video to achieve this vibrant eyeshadow look. I did the wing liner and I did the eyeliner underneath and that's it. I thought I'll go through the rest with you guys because I don't you know what you guys to miss out anything else but we're gonna get right into doing the other side. I'm gonna be using a lot of Juvia's Place palettes. Juvia's Place palettes are one of my favorites hands down <laughs> other than Morphe. I do have a lot of Juvia's Place um, products in my makeup kit personally and for my clients as well so I'm gonna go in with the first color this one is from the festival palette which is this one right here and I'm gonna go in with this pinky color right here and I'm gonna be using a Morphe M519 it's a little bit denser not as fluffy as the other brushes that I do have. So I'm gonna go in with this pink color and I'm just gonna pat this back down. I'm not trying to lose any of the stickiness. I don't want it to dry down yet or anything like that yet. So I'm gonna use this color mostly on the outer part and going up into my crease, like my V. I'm gonna go in on like a, you know, like a V shape. And I'm gonna pat this on until like I'm satisfied with the color payout. So I am satisfied with what I see here. And then I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, which is this one. And I'm gonna go in with this orange color. I'm gonna go in with these two colors right here, but I'm gonna go in with the orange color first. I'm gonna take my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. And I'm gonna just use this just to blend out this pink color just a tad. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm just helping the pink color be a little bit more blended. Right? 
so that's where we're stopping okay so I'm gonna go back in with the pink color again and I'm just gonna press it back in Okay, so now I'm gonna cut my crease just to help a little bit. I don't know, I feel like if I didn't do this, my purple eyeshadows or anything like that wouldn't be as pigmented. So I'm just gonna wipe some of this dried down eyeshadow base. Not all of it, but you know, just wipe some of it off because I'm going to put on some more. Or you could use Vaseline if you wanted to to just help um, clean it up a little bit more. I'm going to be using a Mod Pro brush. This is the Smudger Brush or BMX 402 brush. I like this brush because it has like a C, kind of a curvy C shape. To it me also a guideline because I my pink goes all the way in my purple and blue really doesn't so I want it to stay like right here for my purple and blue even though I have a blue right here but I just want it to stay like right here. Like especially my purple, I don't want it to go all the way up. I want it to just be like right here. So this is a guideline for me. So now, before my base dries down, I'm gonna go in the Zulu palette. I'm gonna take the purple as well, and I'm gonna take a BH Cosmetics number eight brush. Okay, I'm just gonna pat this in right here. Hold on. It's a little bit, it's creasing a bit. It's a process, I know it looks a little messy. <laughs> But we're gonna trust the process, and I'm not taking it all the way up here. I'm gonna just stop like a little bit before the top of the cut crease. I'm just really just packing this color on. I'd rather pack eyeshadow on with a fluffy brush than a packer brush, that's just me. It also helps blend out the color as well. One time, I, I like that a lot. Go down a little bit lower. All right, boom. So all this space right here would be for my blue eyeshadow. I'm gonna take another um, Juvis Place. This one is the Warrior Three palette, and I'm gonna take this blue right here. I'm taking this on a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it. I think it came in like in a set. And I'm just gonna take some of that P. Louise base again and I'm just gonna pop some because like I said I want this base to be wet and sticky. So I'm just taking this all the way up. I'm just gonna pat it until I see no more. If a little bit of the white base stays, which is fine, because I'm gonna take some of that that orange and pink a little bit further to blend the purple and all that. So that's not a problem. I'm really just giving this a good, you know, pack this on. A good pressing. All right, so I got those three colors basically on. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left on the brush that I use for the pink eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna just, just, you know, stamp it, press it in. 
And then I'm going to go in with the brush that I had the orange eyeshadow on. I'm going to take a little bit of the orange eyeshadow on it. And once again, I'm just going to press, press this in. And then my last eyeshadow that I'm going to put down is my yellow. I'm going to take the yellow that's up top. I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm just going to put this like on my brow bone. And now I'm just going to just go back in and make sure that I have all the pigmentation that I want. Alright, last thing to do, I'm going to take two different shimmery blues. This one is the Zulu and this one is the Warrior. I'm going to take this blue right here. I'm going to take this blue right here. I'm just going to mix the two. I'm going to put them on the... And I'm also going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm mixing them. I know it looks messy, but like I said, trust the process. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal. This is my intense liquid liner. This one is in carbon black. I love this stuff. So now that we have all of this on, I'm gonna put on my lashes. I got these from Cell. If you're here in Grand Cayman, Cell sells these for about five bucks. And I've never tried the, the 3D Faux Make. So I'm trying these one out. These ones are in 858. This is how they look. And um, I love Ardell's lashes a lot. So I automatically gravitated to these. I'm just gonna make sure that they fit my eye and I don't need to cut them. They might they look a little bit big though. Okay, no, they don't. Alright, cool. I'm gonna use my um dual adhesive lash glue. This one is in black and it is the brush on adhesive. You all already know how I feel about this. I love it so much. It also plays a part with my eyeliner and all that jazz. So we just, we just brush it on. Make sure that you always wait for your lash glue to dry. And in the meantime, I'm just going to put some Carmix on in my lips. They feel in my crusty. And I'm also gonna do my mascara. This one is from Elizabeth Moss. And this one is the It's So Big Volumizing Mascara. Which is which is this one right here. I don't know if you guys can. That's the one I'm using. I like the wand on this. I don't use it enough though. I don't use this mascara enough. I like the Man Eater um, mascara a lot like Tarte. And then, still waiting for my lashes to dry. These are nice. I like 
Mm -hmm. Lashes always makes you look 10 times more gorgeous. I swear. Like, I love lashes. So I'm just gonna pop these ones on and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm gonna use uh, this eye burning <laughs> concealer. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. And this one is in 07 Cream Cafe. I'm, I like the finish of it. I just don't like the fact that it burns my eyes. Like it, like it's made with some alcohol base stuff in it, or it has alcohol in it. But I do, huh? I do like the finish of it a lot. It's this do rag for me. I just need my edges to be like laid down. And I don't even have any gel in it, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Period. Alright, so I'm gonna be using a microfiber sponge. All right, so in here, I'm not, it's a little too high for me. So whatever's left on the sponge, I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter um, Powder in Honey. Honey. This one is, it's a little bit darker than than the Sacha, as you can see. Let's look at it. It's a little bit darker than it. I I don't mind because my highlighter is so light, so I don't mind it being darker. And honey, this powder, if you can splurge on it, you should get it. It is so worth the money. And let me tell you, it smells good. I don't care what anybody has to say. This thing smells good. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. I like it. So I don't know if I'm gonna run, I was gonna put some green underneath. I think, <laughs> I think I might. I was gonna put this green right here underneath. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spray it though. I'm gonna use the brown that's in the Zulu palette. I'm gonna use it for my contour. And I'm gonna take a BH Cosmetics brush. Since we're ready here.
I'm gonna also use that same color for my nose contour. Use a Morphe, no, this is a BH Cosmetics uh, Studio Pro brush. I'm just gonna go right underneath here and just swipe everything off and also blend out um, the green as well. And I'm just going to make sure everything is blended in my face. I'm just gonna take a clean brush. I know everything before I spray it. And then I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics 125 brush and I'm going to take Raisin by MAC. I actually kind of like this one. Since my face is so loud, I'm not going to go so loud with my brush. I actually need to go to the Mac store. That's here, and I'm, I think I'm gonna take you guys along. All right, so we're gonna spray my face with some Fix Plus. This one's in coconut, and this is one I always get. I'm going to be taking my Extra Definition Skin Finish in Oh Darling. It's broken, so I can't really show you guys like that. I'm going to use this for my highlight today. I love this so much. I'm sad that it's broken. All right, so we got the face basically on. Now we need to figure out what we're gonna put on our lips. But first, you know, I'm always gonna put down my Jordana um, highlighter pencil. All right, so we have our eyeliner pencil down. I think I'm gonna go with a nude lip. Took this from my mom like a while back. Uh, I don't even know where she got it from. I think she got it from when she went to England like last year. I'm gonna use this. This is gorgeous. I love me a good nude lip, but I'm not settled. I'm not, I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna use Juvia's Play CC. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. I love this look. This is the finished look. I love how everything looks. I just like the way how this concealer looks. I'm so torn about it. It's such a glowy finish and plus with the Pro, Pro Filter powder right here, it's just, it's everything for me. Mm. 
everything. I love this look. I've been obsessed with color looks lately and glitter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see because I do videos every Sunday. I do ASMRs. I do mukbangs, I do makeup, I do vlogs, and I'm gonna be doing some thrift hauls, and I'm gonna be doing some clothing hauls, cause listen, I'm just all over the place, and I love doing different stuff, I just don't wanna stick just to makeup only, cause I'm more than just makeup, you know what I'm saying, cause I love to eat. <laughs> But I do have some tags, some challenges, some pranks, some everything. I'm trying to do all of it. I'm trying to do everything. So make sure you head over to that subscribe button and you smash it. And head over to that like button and you smash it and comment down below what you want to see. So I'll see you guys next Sunday and I hope you guys stay blessed and safe. Peace. <laughs>